Hello and thank you for visiting worksheets and walkthroughs.com. In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to take a look at algebra equations on a balance scale. We'll be using these worksheets. You can go to worksheets and walkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find them under our algebra videos. And this one's entitled Algebra Equations on a Balance Scale. We have some directions. Solve the following word problem. Show your work using numbers, pictures, and words. Let's get started. Sebastian has four collectible magic cards in his wallet. Gabriella has $18 and one magic card in her wallet. Both wallets have contents of equal value. If the cards are of equal value, how much is each card worth? So now you can see below this problem we have an equation, which is 4n equals 18 plus n. And you might be thinking, hmm, what are those n's all about? Well, in this case, n is our variable. So now we're looking for a value for n that would make this equation true. So each side would have an equal value and it would all balance out. So on the left side of the equation, you can see that we have 4n. And 4n, well, where does that come from? Well, you might be thinking back to the problem. Sebastian has four collectible magic cards in his wallet. So you can see that and know that it, he has 4 times n. In this case, n is the value of each card. And he has, once again, 4 cards. 4 cards in his wallet. So that's the left side of the equation. Well, you might be thinking, hmm, where did we get the values for the right side of the equation? If you look at that equation, on the right side, you can see that we have 18 plus n. And since the left side represented Sebastian's wallet, on the right side we have Gabriella's wallet. And that makes sense. If you think back to the problem, we have Gabriella has $18, $18, and one, one magic card in her wallet. Then you look back to the equation, you can see there it is, 18 plus n. 18 representing the dollars and n representing the magic card and its value. So now how would we do this? Well, in this in this case we're going to use a balance scale. So we'll use a balance scale to show or represent our equation. So once again we have 4n on the left side of the equation. So in this case we are going to use this symbol to represent n. So that would be 1n. And you can see in the equation we need 4n. So 4 times n would look like 4 of these. 4n. You can print off the copies of the worksheets and cut these out if you want to you know, follow along right with me. Here we go. So on the left side, we have Sebastian's wallet, four cards. Each card, well, we're not sure of the value you get. Let's represent Gabriella's wallet on the other side. So now we have 18. We have to represent that. And we have 1, or 110. And we have 8, representing the 1s, or 8 1s. You put it all together, and you've got 18. So now we've got 18 plus a value of n. Okay, so we have 18 plus n. So we'll let this symbol represent n. There it is. So now you can see the equation. We have 4n on the left. 4n. There's 1, 2, 3, 4n. And on the right-hand side, once again, we have 18 plus n. Now, we could go ahead and try to guess and check the value for n, like try to guess the value for each of these symbols. However, there is another way, another way to solve a simpler problem. So if you look at the equation, and it should balance out like all equations, that equal sign just shows that there are equal values on each side. So n has to represent a number that would make this true. A simpler way to solve this, if you look at the equation, if you can find something that's the same on both sides. 
Do you see it? I notice that we have an N on this side, and we also have an N on this side. So just like if you were on the balance scale yourself, or if you're on a teeter-totter, and you take an equal value off of each side, in this case, we can take off one N from each side. We'll go ahead and do that. Put that aside for now. And now we have 3n equals 18 plus 0. Well, in this case, we really if it's plus 0, we can just remove that plus sign for now, leaving us with 3n equals 18. And you might be thinking, hmm, I know how to do this. Well, if, if you do, excellent, good for you. Here we go. If you were thinking this, awesome. So now we can think, OK, 3 times something equals 18. 3 times something equals 18. Or you could think to yourself, 18 divided by 3, because we have 3n over here, 18 divided by 3 would give us the value of one of those trophies, or the value of n. So let's check this out. Well, let's think here. If we had a value of 5 for n, then we could we could check this out. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. If we had a value of 5, let's see, 5, 10, 15, oh, 3n equals 15. No, that wouldn't make it true. So let's try another. Mm, let's try 6. If you're thinking that, good for you. Let's try 6. So we've got 6, 12, 18. Aha! I think we've got it. So 3 times 6 equals 18, or 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Ah, that does check out. So that would work. So a value for n that would make this equation true would absolutely be 6. Aha! So let's check this out. If we put the equ original equation back together, this should hold true. So now if n equals 6, then 4n equals 18 plus n should be true. Let's check it out. So now we've got, okay, we've got, once again, we noticed that each of these n, or trophies, is has a value of 6. So now we've got 6, 12, 18, 24 on that side. And on this side, we have 18 plus 6, because n equals 6. So 18 plus 6, well, I know that 18 plus 2 would be 20. That would be 4 more. But 24? Ah, so 24 on each side. That would be true. So n is a value that would make this equation true. We can also show this mathematically as well. So what we're going to go ahead and do is write down the original equa equation. The original equation. 4n equals 18 plus n. And now that we know that our value of n equals 6, we can insert 6 into this equation to check it out. It's always a good idea to check your work and prove you know what you're talking about. We can prove it here. So 4n. Well, we can represent this as 4 times if n equals 6. So 4 times 6 would be Sebastian's wallet and the, the value of his, the contents of his wallet. And if we go on to the other side, we have 18 plus n, which was a value of 6. Aha, so 18 plus 6. So now, furthermore, we can go ahead and solve this. Now that we have our value for n inserted into the equation. So now we've got 4 times 6. If you were thinking 24, excellent. Good for you. 24 and on the right side, or Gabriella's wallet or the value of the contents of her wallet, we've got 18 plus 6, and once again, 18 plus 6 equals 24. Ah, it checks out, doesn't it? So 24 equals 24. And furthermore, we can move on and kind of translate this into a tape diagram or model drawing. And We've got on the right-hand side here, you can see that we have 4n represented by this tape diagram or model drawing, and each section is 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 n or has a value of 6 if you're thinking that awesome good for you so that would be a value of 6 
each n has a value of 6. So now let's take a look at how this would work out. So if each section has a value of 6, we can go ahead and kind of count count this out, you know, solve it mentally if you will. So 6, 12, 18, 24, yes, yes. And then on the other side we have 18 plus our value of n was 6, so 18 plus 6, and we just proved that that was 24. So in fact, these all check out. Uh, we've done this in a variety of ways. So we've got this section equals 24. And this section also equals 24. So n, our value of n of uh, equaling 6, balances this out. It makes the equation true. And we have one more thing we need to do. We need to go back and solve this using, we've used numbers, uh, pictures, and now we can go ahead and solve it using words. If we go back to the original problem, you can see our math job right here. We we saw that we had to figure out how much is each card worth. We had to find the value of each card and an answer statement. If you were thinking that an answer statement would look something like this, each card is worth blank dollars, good for you. So now we can easily insert our value for n in there and each card is worth six dollars. And there we go. That was a quick look at equations on a balance scale. Thank you for checking out worksheets and walkthroughs.com and we'll see you again next time.